When Puss in Boots ended, I swear this was the only thing that I wanted to do in the theater. <laughs> DreamWorks Puss in Boots Puss in Boots Hoo The basic story of Puss in Boots is um, it's the beginning of um, how, Puss, how Puss started his adventures It's before the second movie when Puss in Boots was introduced Puss in Boots is a fugitive and he's his, he is sent to do this mission to um, find these magic beans Eventually find this, um, this chick, this um this chicken, and then find the golden eggs and bring it back. He's doing that with um, this kitty who um, he goes with, who's played by S S Salma Hayek, and Humpty Dumpty, who's played by Zach and Galifianakis. This movie is actually a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with this movie, but of course, there is a lot of kids in the theater who wouldn't shut the freak up. Antonio Banderas. Oh, he owns this character! Antonio Banderas plays Puss in Boots, and he also played Puss in Boots in the Shrek 2, 3, and 4. And since it's his own movie, Antonio Banderas gets to use his full talent. Antonio Banderas had a very good accent, like very good swagger. You can tell he actually had a lot of fun with this character. Sama Hayek, who also did a lot of movies with Antonio Banderas, she was very good too. I, I really like her. She's actually really attractive. Oh my god. Zach Galifianakis, who is Alan from The Hangover. He was very solid as Humpty Dumpty, but a lot of people have been saying this. He is sometimes kind of annoying. There were some parts when he like screams and all that. It really got on my nerves. Billy Bob Thornton plays um, Jack. He did a very good job. He um, very good. He wasn't really much of a character, but he was good. I forgot who Jill was. I don't remember. Amy something. Puss and Boost animation is. Oh my god! It was awesome. There's a lot of um, like colors. There's a lot of um, very, very, very specific details. It looks beautiful on um, theaters. The action sequences were very exciting throughout. Very well directed, very exciting. When I was watching, I was like, wow, look at all this. Is, this looks awesome. The movie was actually really well directed. The same director, like I mentioned, Shrek the Third. And I have no idea why I own this movie. Chris Miller did a very good job directing this movie. He had a lot of um, pizzazz, a lot of excitement. There was some um, adult jokes, but only that, that some kids won't get. Um, and only adults get it. It was actually really amusing. They actually did a joke reference to Fight Club and only me and this other guy in front of me got the joke because it was only about Fight Club. It was so epic. The music score is very exciting. I love it when they have um, like the Mexican kind of dancing. Like there was one scene in particular it's going to do with the dancing. And also they played Americana by Lady Gaga in the ending. It was awesome. Even if I enjoyed this movie, I had a lot of fun with it. It does have some big level problems. Very often the jokes were very stupid, very flat. I know it's a kids movie and it's supposed to be jokes for kids. I didn't feel as if it was funny, it was just flat jokes. It kind of felt like Shrek 3 material. Yes, I'm calling it Shrek 3 material. A subplot with Puss and Boots and Humpty Dumpty, it just didn't work. Puss and Boots and Humpty Dumpty, they had a past and they tried to make it work during the movie and they try to have some heart, but it just didn't add anything. Like, it, it just, it was just there. It was kind of recycled. I didn't like how the Humpty Dumpty character was um, portrayed and the way, like, the writing for him. His character just didn't add anything. And since the relationship with him and Puss in Boots wasn't that great, like, the Humpty Dumpty character, like, he was got annoying. He was very unnecessary. So, yeah, guys, Puss in Boots is a very enjoyable movie. I had a lot of fun with it. You guys will have a blast with this movie. I'm gonna give this movie a seven and a half out of ten, but a very strong seven and a half out of ten. If you have like a younger brother or sister, obviously see this movie because it's a very fun family movie. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Poops and Boots. See you guys later.